Hey, YouTube. Listen, I don't know how else to say this. Let me tell you guys what happened. As I'm taking the spiritual bath, my youngest son, his room is next door to the bathroom, and I hear him. He's in the background. I could hear words, but I couldn't make out what they were. He was singing. He got to a, per a certain part of the song. It said, um, somebody to lean on, someone to depend on. Because these drugs don't work no more. Then I come into my office and on my desk there's two fives. Five, 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 five equals change, right? So probably you're like, why is this message coming up for me? Listen, a lot of you who watch this channel are light workers sent here on a mission to help save souls. So this could be going on around you. This could be a friend, a neighbor, a coworker, a lover, a brother, a relative. This is some this could be someone in your life, okay? And so this is why the message is coming out because someone is crying for help. Someone to lean on, someone to depend on because these drugs don't work no more. All right? So let's see what the message is, spirit, please and thank you. Archangel Michael, I ask that you protect us. Ancestors of the highest white light. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like I need to get an affirmation. I need to get an affirmation for you guys first. Okay. Spirit, what's the message? Please and thank you. What is the message? All right. So you have two popping out. Yeah, someone's ready to surrender. This nine talks about surrendering. It says here, I show, uh, I take care of all my needs to show up as my best self. It says I move from poverty thinking to abundance thinking. So maybe someone is needing help to get to a rehab. The drugs is not working no more. This person cannot continue to escape life through drugs. And that's just period, okay? I don't know. We're going to see. Maybe they want to. They Maybe they want to surrender this. But they need support. Listen, y'all know I had a pill addiction. When you're going through that, you need support. Um, no, I really didn't have anybody but the most high God. But maybe the person who's going through this is not strong enough like that you see what i'm saying maybe their faith isn't strong enough so i feel like this message is coming out for you because like i said a lot of you are light workers sent on a mission to help save souls even if you are just an ear a listening ear for this person without being judgmental okay let's see spirit what's the message please and thank you spirit what is the message seven of swords is coming up in the reverse Somebody's ready to surrender their behavior. Two of Pentacles. Not seeing a way out. Watching you. Somebody's watching you. Yes, they are. Feeling like maybe you can help them. Because you got it. You you show, you show take care of all your needs so that you can show up as your best self. So you got this person watching you. Um, for some reason. For some reason, this person... Uh, maybe a little scared of, to come in to you, but they're definitely watching you. This could be someone who didn't see a way out before, but they're wanting to surrender these uh, these ways. All right, we saw the devil earlier. I'm chant. Y'all know I get music. I mean, I get messages through music. Like I said, I heard my son in the background. I was muffled while I was in the tub, but that part of the song I heard. I don't even know who sang it. Okay, I think it's a rap song. But I don't even know who sang it. And it comes out again. The devil comes out again. So like I said, this is someone who um, wants to surrender. They could have even, if this was a love connection, they could have even blocked this connection because of these codependent uh, issues that they had. All right. Um, but this person is watching you, wanting to move away from poverty thinking to uh, this abundance thinking. Ten of Pentacles is the abundance card. So, let's see. I feel like this person needs someone who's not going to be judgmental. They need someone who can understand what they're going through. Um, but like I said, there's something there that's keeping this person not sure if they can count on you. Hmm. Let's see. What is the two of pentacles here? <clears throat> Spirit, 
what is the two of pentacles? All right, so they need someone who's going to be stable, grounded, reliable, dependable, because that's the energy of the king of pentacles. Uh, they're watching you because they feel like you can do it. I, I feel like there's more here, though. I, I do now. It's going to be different for everybody, but I feel like there's something... That could have happened in the background. Something could have happened in the past. That's making it. Because why else would they just be watching and not speaking? Something happened. This person could have lied to you. This person could have even stole from you. Seven of Swords. They hid something from you. They could have hid from you um, that they were addicted to drugs. And, and it caused them to block out the connection. Uh, but I, what I see is someone who want help. They want help. They want to be able to take care of themselves so they can show up. Is their best needs, right? They want to move away from the poverty thinking to the abundance thinking. But like they said, these drugs just don't work no more. Don't do it for them no more. What they want, some somebody, not for all of these people, but someone wants to bring a love offer in with the Knight of Cups and build the Ten of Pentacles with you. So someone could have hid this from you, like for real. They could have hid that they had a drinking problem, a sex addiction, a drug addiction, Whatever that got this person high, anything can be a drug, okay? But that's what they say. These drugs don't work no more. All right. Let's see it with us. Mm -hmm. And I just keep playing it back and forth in my head. Somebody to lean on, someone to depend on, because these drugs don't work no more. That's all I keep hearing, all right? This person's very hopeful, man. Wow. Bottom of the deck. Looking at things totally different. I feel like for some of you, that's why this person walked away. Because you brought this person the sun. You brought them this person the sun, and that's just period. Whether you are a friend or lover, whatever the fuck this is. Um, but they hid from you that they had addictions. Causing them to block out the connection and walk away. Look at you. I keep telling y'all. Most of the people that watch this channel is light workers. Healers. All right, energy, healing energy flows through you and to you. You guys have the power to heal this person with the star energy out here. You do now, whether you want to or not. For some of y'all, it's your mission. For some of y'all, it's your mission now. Some of y'all, y'all worry, well, spirit, what is my mission in life? For some of y'all, it's your mission. Okay, it's your work. I can't make it up. For some of y'all, it's y'all work. This is your work to heal this person. Whoever this is in your life, I feel like they could, for some of you, where well, this is a love connection, they blocked it out because they didn't want to tell you that they had all these addictions. Mm, mm, mm. I specifically heard drugs to take out resonance, okay? All right, so with the Wheel of Fortune being here, things are about to change. Remember those two fives. My son laid them two fives here. He was like, Mama, I'm about to take $10 off your car. Um, and he's like, I'm going to give you $10, but I didn't expect for it to be laid on my desk when I came in here. 5-5 five, five represents change, and so does the Wheel of Fortune. It represents change for the good, right? To get on the right path. Like I said, someone is ready to go from poverty thinking. They're ready to surrender some kind of behavior and move from poverty thinking to abundance thinking, right? This person is ready to take care of all their needs so that they can show up as their best self. Possibly after even watching you. Uh, with the Page of Swords here, maybe this person watched you come up from something. Something that could have had you by the balls. And you came up out of it. And this person watched how you did it. You see what I'm saying? And they're like, well, damn, if she can do it, I can do it too. Mm, what else, spirit? High Priestess. Somebody's intuition is telling them to come in here to you. Somebody's intuition is telling this person to come in to you that you would not judge them for whatever this was. Because, okay, so for a few of you watching, whatever this was, this person that has this person, you've dealt with something like this before. And not only did you make your way out, you turned yourself into an empress, okay? And they watched you do it. They watched you do it. I feel like you don't know that this person has this because they hid it from you. Seven of swords, two of swords. They hid this from you. And it's like they want to tell you. 
Is it their intuitions telling them to tell you whatever the hell this was in their life? Their intuitions telling them to go ahead and tell you something on the physical is telling them, nah, man, she might judge me like everybody else did. You know. Mm -mm -mm. But you, your purpose here in this reading is to heal someone, and it, it's not like you. You could, all you, maybe all you need to do is be a listening ear. Maybe all you need to do is just talk, talk to this person, give them that extra courage, that extra boost. Maybe they've already surrendered it, because I see a love offer with the Ten of Pentacles. That is the energy of moving from poverty thinking to abundance thinking, right? Taking care of all of their needs. That's the energy of the Knight of Cups, also. Loving themselves, doing what is necessary to show up as their best self. So this person, in the past, they could have lied to you about it. Maybe they blocked this connection between the two of you because they didn't want to tell you that they had this damn addiction. They didn't want to tell you. But the seven of swords is coming up in reverse. They want to tell you this. And they've been going back and forth. Their intuition is telling, tell, telling them to tell you. Mm-mm. And others of you, they've watched you go through something similar and raise yourself up. There's going to be a healing energy here that's going to come from this empress, okay? It's your purpose now. Wheel of Fortune is all about change, getting on your path, right? Mm-hmm. It's going to be a very healing moment with the sun coming out here like that. Nine of Cups. I feel like somebody's wishes is going to be fulfilled here. All right, this could definitely be a lover. Could be a Gemini, could be a friend. Uh, I feel like it's someone with this deep soul, deep soul connection. And it doesn't have to be a lover, bro. It could be your brother, your sister. Either way, it's part of the same soul tribe. Take it how it resonates. If your brother ain't talked to you in a few years and you want to know why they're not answering the phone, why they don't come to family function? Why they block out everything? They had an addiction that they didn't want nobody to know. All right? They hid it from you. It's coming up in the reverse because they want to tell you. They want to tell you, man. Something in this person's intuition is telling them that you're not going to judge them. That you're going to be very caring, listening. All right? But that two of pen, like, damn, should I say it or should I not? All right, this is something that they hear from everybody. Nobody knew that this person was addicted to nothing. They don't, they don't look like it. I feel like this person, they, they hide it very well. Whoever this is, they hide that shit very fucking well. You would probably be surprised. Like, what? It could be a king of pentacles. This is what they call, mm, I just heard functioning crackhead. Now, let me, for those of you who don't know what that means, and yes, this is that past life soulmate for some of y'all, okay? For some of y'all who do not know what this means, this is someone who go to work, they pay their bills, they pay their bills now, but everything else, whatever they have left after taking care of what they're supposed to, you go to the dope man. All right? The king of pentacles is someone who's stable and solid. They pay all their bills and shit, right? They do the right thing. So this person may not even look like, this person could uh, snort powder, they could... Be addicted to pain pills. Something that doesn't truly show up on a person. I don't think it's crack, but I heard that. Functioning crackhead. But it's just a term. Someone who abuses drugs, but they're functioning in life. They're paying all their bills, and they're not missing the beat. The kids ain't going without what they need, you know? So that's just the term here. But it's a drug that you... It's not nothing like no heroin and no damn meth. No, because that person would have no teeth in their head. You would be able to see this. This is something that they could clearly hide from you. They could be dead in your face, high as hell, and you wouldn't even know it. You wouldn't even know it. Okay? So I'm pick, really picking up pain pills. Picking up pain pills. All right. But anyway, the Seven of Swords came up in the reverse. They don't want to lie about this shit no more. Now, they don't. Who? Past life soulmates. Some of them want to reconcile. Some of them want to reconcile with you. Okay? If it's a family member, still, they want to celebrate with you. They ain't seen you in a while. They've been blocking their energy because they've been dealing with this monster. This monkey on their back. All right? But with the justice at the bottom of the deck. Feel like you're about to get some communication in. And what this person going to do, what they were not doing before, tell you the fucking truth. 
Tell you the truth about this drug habit. And you you are to practical. Be practical. I don't know what the hell that means. 15, 15 on the phone. I don't know what that means, but that's what I heard. Be practical. Okay? Don't judge this person. Tell them they ain't shit. Oh, I knew it. I knew your ass was snorting powder. I knew it. Look, this devil look like he on some eyes big as hell. Okay? I don't know, child. Spirit says be practical with this person. Be, it need to be healing. All right? Something's going to come through and it, it's going to... I feel like it's going to bring justice to you. Because you did not understand why. Why my brother don't ever pick up the phone? Um... Why you don't ever want to come to family functions? Okay, if this is a family member, if this is a lover, why did he just block me like that? Because for some of y'all, it's like soulmate with the six cups here. All right, and you brought this person to son. They were truly happy with you, but they were not ready to tell you the truth about this addiction. And that's period. So someone could be getting help, could want help. I don't know. They just say the drugs don't work no more, okay? That's all I was hearing. The drugs don't work no more. So they could they could have, again, fucking love, a deep soul connection. They could have already went and cleaned themselves up. Yeah, but I feel like it caused this person to hurt you. If this was a, a relationship, they blocked it because they didn't want you, they didn't want you to know they was addicted to something. They didn't now. Maybe this is somebody who has to be seen in a certain light. Didn't want people to judge them. That's what's keeping them really from coming in and telling you back and forth. Like, dang, I don't, you know, should I? What if she, what if this goes the wrong way? What if she look at me like I ain't shit? You know, but Spirit says with this communication, they're coming to tell you the truth about this drug habit. Their, their intuition has been telling them to do it anyway. That, that you would not be judgmental with the star and the empress. No, I feel like it would be very him. You would be very practical, like I heard. I don't know what it really means for you guys, but I feel like there's going to be um, healing energy here. That's the energy that you have, empress. And somebody sees it, the more they watch you, they just, deep down inside, they know that you would be able to handle it. You can see the bigger picture. And some of them have seen you come through this. Through something like this, and they've seen you getting the magician energy and manifest a new life for yourself with this empress right here, and they just like wow. But it's still, I feel like it's a very 3D thing that's keeping them. Should I tell them or should I not? Either way, they're gonna tell you. I see it. it it's plus like it's like this. They don't want to lie about it no more. That's why it's coming up in the reverse. But for some of them, that's exactly why they blocked out the connection because they didn't want to tell you that they had this damn habit. Whatever the fuck it was. Okay? But this coming up in the reverse, they don't want to lie about it no more. They want to tell you the truth because they want to move forward with you. Justice, son, three of cups. They want to reconcile. Is it? Uh, let's get, let's see. Okay? So for those of you where this was a relation, I'm going to pull some energy where this was a, a commitment. person that wants to tell the truth now i still have inner anger issues that i need to resolve that could have been that devil show could have been that it's just some um, toxic energy but but i heard drugs it's just period i heard drugs bro so maybe they still need help you are going to be the healing energy for this person now all these damn cards popped over now it says Thinking of ways to make it all up to you. Okay. Um, I find your personal style to be sexy and unique. Whew. Remnants of you still linger in my atmosphere. And I want to surprise you with something special. So like I said, for those of you where this was a relationship, maybe that devil in your person's life was drugs and anger or just anger. All right. But either way it goes, there's something that they want to make up to you. So, hold on, y'all. I got something in my damn eye. It's, you know. Um, so, yeah. Well, that, that's what that is right there. All right? Thinking of ways to make it up to you. 
now um let me see what else what else on where well, this is a relationship and then i'm gonna ask spirit how are you supposed to because all i heard was practical like i want to know details like how are you supposed to act in this what you supposed to do hey spirit baby forgiving and learning because for some of you that's why this person blocked this connection out there was a an addiction that they did not want to tell you about. They fear judgment. They fear judgment. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Spirit says, give this shit a chance. Give it a chance. I feel like it's gonna be healing moments here. Y'all gonna move forward with this past life soulmate. Okay. Work on your partnership. That lovers came up about three times because this is. Um, a deep soul connection for some of you, right? Now, I want to see what spirit wants you to do. Yeah, that's what spirit say. Be practical. Be practical and forgive this person. This is a time for healing right here with the star here. Forgiving and learning. We all humans and we all make mistakes. But the difference is, see, with you, you have, you, you're able to see the bigger picture. You're looking at things from a soul level, from a higher perspective. Your person was still on that 3D. I mean, that showed up as the King of Pentacles. Very grounded on the 3D, all right? Because um, they, they're not even sure if they want to listen to the damn intuition that's telling them it's okay to come in and tell you the truth, okay? Spirit, what is the Empress supposed to do? I see justice at the bottom of the deck. What is the Empress supposed to do when this person comes in and tells the truth? Four of Cups. Mm. What else, Spirit? What's this? King of Wands, Knight of Cups. That's this person. Remember, we saw the sun out there. It could easily be a King of Wands, a Leo, or some kind of fire sign who's taking this love, taking action. To bring in this love offer. Someone's miserable. He said the drugs don't work no more, man. They blocked you out and continued to do what they was doing, but they don't work no more. This person's miserable. Somebody to lean on, someone to depend on, because these drugs don't work no more. That's what they're saying now. So that's the energy of this person. But spirit, what is my collective supposed to do when this person come in with their love offer? Yeah, this is you right here, Nine of Pentacles. You've been doing good, working on yourself, getting messages from spirit. All right. Oh, child, Ten of Wands. Nine of Swords. Uh, Death, Charity. Okay, so I feel that this truth that comes in is going to shock the fuck out of y'all because the Nine of Swords is challenging communication. It's challenging communication, but don't show it in your face. I'm telling you right now, you're going to be shocked to the heavens. This person hit it, and they hit it very fucking well. Because the King of Wands, the energy of the King of Wands is someone who's a visionary leader. You would never think that this person had a drug habit. You wouldn't. I ain't going to say that. I want some of y'all to think back. Some of y'all where this was a relationship want you to think back. I'm not going to say that, okay? I'm not. Anyway, what's going to happen here? So this is a burden. You didn't know what the fuck was going on. This person's not talking to you. You're not only messages that you get when you watch YouTube. That's the only kind of answers that you get. But what's going to happen is this truth that comes in is going to completely transform this whole connection. With the death here, it, like Spirit says, it's going to be a lot of forgiving and learning so that you guys can come together and conquer this energy, conquer this connection. Spirit says, give the partnership a chance. But I, I really, I feel like they completely cut you the fuck off. And you didn't know why. Y'all was just like... And I feel like for a long time, you waited on this person. It just got to the point the way you like, man, I just got to start putting in work on myself. Some of y'all may have even thought with the four cups, some of y'all may have thought that you were not enough for this person. Some of y'all may have thought that they left you for someone else. If they did, they left you for somebody who was on their level. 
If this person snort powder, they got with somebody who snort powder. Do you understand what I'm saying? It had nothing to do with you. You have always been the empress, not a pinnacle energy in this connection. Whether it's a relationship, whatever the fuck it is, okay? But I feel like you did. You carried that burden for a long ass time. But this it's this person's burden now. Because you are already working on yourself. You done healed yourself. You in the Empress energy. Star Empress, you have healed yourself. Because they did not come in and give you no kind of closure, no kind of explanation, nothing, nothing. But Spirit says when this person come in with that damn truth, it's going to transform this connection something serious. It is. What else, Spirit? Some of y'all are going to be like, what the fuck? That's why you, you, really? Why you ain't just tell me that? Why do you think that I would have judged you? You could have told me that. I could have helped you. We could have did this together. Mm, mm, mm. What else, spirit? All right, this card popped out. All right, so Ace of Pentacles is popping out. Like I said, it's going to, like I said, nah. It's going to be a brand new beginning. It's going to transform this connection so that you guys can come together, yin and yang, all right, and take over. Some of y'all might be mad. Like, why you ain't telling me this shit a year ago? I have a long this been. I don't know why I said a year. Okay, however long it's been that they've been lying to you. However long it's been that they've been lying to you, who the same person? Who trying to show up in the world like they so stable, solid, and financially secure. This is a functioning crackhead. I'm not calling them a crackhead. It's the term of it. They, they, Whatever they have it is, this person, they pay all their bills, okay? Or whatever they have left. They call the baby mama, make sure the kid is straight. If the kid is straight and the bills is paid, whatever's left going to the dope man, that's just period. It's just period. That's how this King of Pentacles is functioning. And they've been lying to you for a long ass time. Remember, the beginning of the reading, the Seven of Swords came up in the reverse because they don't want to lie about it no more. But for some of y'all, that's the whole reason they blocked the damn connection. They didn't want to tell you. But they said the drugs don't work no more. This person wants you back in their life now. The tired of lying. Spirits is going to have to be some forgiving and learning here. Okay? Anything else, spirit? Mm, mm, mm. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, there will be a brand new beginning here towards something solid. And the both of you can walk on this path right here. The both of you can walk on this path. Empress, this is going to be a very healing moment for the both of you. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you. Whoa. I can't. Okay. I can't. The four swords came up on top of the depth. They don't want this shit to be over with you because they want to move forward with you now. They want to move forward with you. And please note that the whole time this person has been lying to you, it's been a burden. They know they've hurted you. They know that they've had you questioning your words and all. You probably went through a million reasons of why this person blocked you, ghosted you, cut you out. When it comes through, you're going to be like, what the fuck? For real? Don't let it show on your face, okay? Because you're going to be like, wow. You're going to be shocked. I promise you. Like I said, Knight of Swords is challenging communication. It's going to be hard as hell for this person to come in here and tell you. It's going to be hard for them to come in here and tell you they had a drug problem. And or have one. Some of them. I really feel like. At the time that you met this person, that's what was going on. You couldn't tell it, but that's what was going on. I feel like this person has got themselves together. I feel like this person is taking care of their needs so they can show up as their best self. I feel like this person has moved away from poverty thinking to abundance thinking. I do now. Remember, we saw that Ten of Pentacles. They want to be with you. They want to be with you, and that's just period. Three of Pentacles right here, they want to collaborate with you. Brain balance. Why? Because you were the one for this person. You were the one then. It's just period. You both have been wish fulfillment, but they, had, they held back from you. They held back from you because of what they was going through. 
And you probably sitting there like, well, shit, I wasn't perfect. Hell, I had shit going on. But when they looked at you, they saw the one that they wanted to be with. Listen to you, girl, because I don't have no reason to lie. I don't give a fuck if you had one and a half legs. When they looked at you, they saw the one that they wanted to be with. And, and your soul mirrored to them all of the reasons why they were not um, deserving of this person. Who was so loving, caring, and nurturing. They knew they had some shit going on now. Nah. They knew they did. They hid it from me. And instead of this person telling you, they blocked the connection. They blocked the connection. They went, got themselves together. King of Pentacles. Got themselves together. I don't know why I feel like I want to cry. I feel like it was hard. It was really hard for this person, but they did it. They did it. Some of y'all been through the same shit because they watched you come up out of the same type of energy. All right? But um, this person's manifesting now. That Ten of Pentacles, they're manifesting now. Mm-hmm. So anyway, could have caused them to be a night of one's energy in your life. Could have caused this person to be cold, pushed you away, didn't let you get close. Afraid you're going to find out. Afraid you're going to find out what they really had going on. Oh, wow. Like I said. I know what I'm feeling here. I'm not saying this is everybody's story, but damn it, it's somebody's story. Somebody's story. Baby. Tell them it's going to be changed here, and it's going to be for the good. Because them damn two five, five five now, five five. It's going to be balanced. All right? Reciprocity here. Equal give and take. And that's just period. It's just period now. Some of y'all think this person was just a horrible, horrible person. And they hate that they did it like that, though. They do. I'm talking for somebody who just blocked you out, didn't give you no kind of nothing. Had you wondering. You didn't know why. Maybe you didn't see this person with other people. I'm telling you, they got with somebody who was on their level. I promise you, Okay. You're like, why would he leave and be with her and, 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 okay? If you getting yourself together, working on your energy, elevating yourself, they got this monkey on their back. They wasn't ready to put in the damn work or whatever the fuck it was. They're like, man, mm-mm. All right? But they watch some of y'all do just that, come up out that damn energy. And some of them have done that. Then it came about the energy. Now they feel worthy to offer to you. All right. So spirit says it's going to have to be some forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. All right. Ain't nobody perfect. That's what the, the earth is here. That's the whole reason we're here. To learn these life lessons and continue to evolve. All right, but this is someone who wants to conquer life with you. I can't make this shit up. And the lovers is out there. They want to conquer life with you. And I feel like so they blocked this out. Everybody's di story is different, but I'm strongly picking this one up. They blocked this energy out because when they met you, they met the one, and your soul reflected to, to this person the shit that they needed to hear. They blocked this connection out with you. And worked on they self. Yes, they did. Anything, yeah, it hurt. It hurt like a motherfucker. Cause you didn't know what the fuck was going on. You laid up at night, couldn't get no damn sleep. Trying to figure out why this person won't take your call, won't answer the phone, won't respond. Psh, baby. Anything else, spirit? Okay, spirit said, get some surrender cards. Let's get some surrender cards. Yep, spirit says some really negative thinking because this ain't had nothing to do with you, boo. It ain't had nothing to do with you. It was all with this person who's either a fire sign or an earth sign. Take it how it resonates, okay? Some really negative thinking. 
You have control over your thoughts when negative thoughts surface. Say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. And this person has to surrender their fear of change because they the ones in that two of pentacles. Should I tell them or should I not? If I tell them the truth, is it gonna, it's going to cause a change, but a change for the good. Because what I see is a brand new beginning with two people moving forward, conquering life together. But there's fear there because of how they just blocked you out, not telling you nothing. But not feeling fulfilled without you four cups. They want you in their life. You're their partner. You're their... This is a twin. This is a twin. This is a twin. And that's period. Okay? So spirit says, this had nothing to do with you. Everything to do with this person. Alright? And this person needs to, to surrender their fear of change. Because yes, it will change, but for the good. Alright? Let's get a purple card and that'll be the reason for you guys. I didn't mean to drag it out so damn long. I had to figure out why the hell I was hearing this shit. I also had channeled another song. And he was like, man, you done started playing with your nose. You know that goes against the cold. So somebody had got hooked on powder from dealing with somebody. And one of their best friends was like, nah, man, we don't do that. And so this person started blocking everybody out their life. So just take what resonates. Okay, Spirit, what's the message? Wow, wow, wow. I said you have a view from above. You get the bigger picture. Because you were able to view things from your higher self. This person wasn't. They was very grounded, still stuck on the 3D. All right? Spirit says, trust that there's a divine plan. The both of you need to trust that there is a divine plan. You sitting up here worrying about why they blocked you out, thinking it ain't had shit to do with you, Spirit say. You've been doing the fucking work. You did exactly what your soul was supposed to do. Mirror to this person what they needed to fix. They handled it incorrectly, period. They handled it incorrectly. So that in that time of separation has given this person time to reflect and redirect their damn energy. So instead of giving money to the dope man and getting high, somebody put themselves in rehab and got their shit back together. Now, nah, that's just it. That's what it is. Success expands in your life. I just said, when y'all get together, y'all gonna conquer this life together. I see you now moving forward together with the damn two of, of, of cups, with the lovers, with the chair, with the ace of pentacles, and the ace of wands. Spirit says that this was a divine, there was a divine plan in all of it. Some of y'all don't even, I'm telling you, when this person met you, they were like, damn, that's, that's the one. That's the one. And just like shortly after, blocked your ass out to go and handle what the fuck they had to handle. Like I said, it was a time of impasse. Read the card, now. A time of impasse. Gave this person time to reflect and redirect their damn energy. Because the more they watch you and see you come up out of whatever you were going through and turn into this empress, they're like, what? I got, I got to do the work. I got to do the work because that's my person. She's going to fuck around and get away from me. All right, spirits, it's going to be some forgiving and learning here. You guys are, are able to walk through the gates of triumph because success expands in y'all life right now. Now, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, child. Some of y'all ain't even going to notice your story to this person coming in because they hid it so fucking well. Because I was going to say, y'all leave it in the comments, but some of y'all don't know. Some of y'all be like, oh, psh, that ain't my story. Okay. Okay. Whoever this was, they hid that shit well. Because I heard functioning crackhead. And this is Peter. Functioning crackhead. Right? It's your girl, Spitch and Sag. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Don't judge this person, man. I, look, I can judge him. I would probably be more upset that they didn't tell me than they were like, man, I was addicted to this. I'm like, hey. Some people have addictive personalities. And a clear they was addicted to something. Yeah, people have addictive personalities. And like I said, it's hard to come up off some shit. You know, that you are, you are addicted to it. It's hard to come out. You need support. You need help. But you got to open your damn mouth. Because whoever this is, looking at them, you wouldn't have never thought it. You would have thought this person had that shit together. 
you really thought they had their life under control, but their life was not under control like you thought it was, and they hate that they lied to you about that shit. Y'all sitting up here thinking it had something to do with some pussy. No. No, it did not. They looked at you and was like, damn, that's the one. And they did not feel good enough for you, bro. They didn't feel like they could come out and tell you they had or whatever problem it was. You know? I told y'all that story on my live. I said, when I met my twin, but that's what's supposed to happen. These souls, there's an instant soul-to-soul -soul recognition, right? But then the 3D starts to think like, damn. I'm tell y'all, when I met my person... That was not an immediate attraction. I was flirting with him or whatever. But when I finally gave him the time of day, because I had my own shit going on, I was addicted to pain pills. Right? That was like top priority for me. Anybody that has had an addiction, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, okay? So when I finally just like slowed the fuck down and gave my person some time and energy and really looked at him, I'm like, wow. Now that's somebody I would really clean my fucking act up for. And I had never even thought about that with nobody, no, nobody, okay? And I had never went on a date with him, had never kissed him, had never been with him sexually, none of that. It's when I finally looked in his eyes, I was like, that's somebody I would clean up for. I swear to the most high God. And he don't even know it to this day, but it was like somewhere back in my mind, it gave me the boost that I needed to get my shit together. I'm just telling you, not, not that I was trying to get together for no man. See, somebody going to come on this damn video with a 3D thinking. She don't be trying to get herself together for a man. Tell me what these twin flame souls is here to do. They're here to mirror to you just what in the fuck you need to fix, okay? And that's just period, what you need to heal. And that's what y'all, the same thing that my twin did for me, that's what some of y'all have done for that person. And they ran away from you. They ran away from you because they didn't feel good enough, now. Nah? And you sitting up here stressing. I wonder why he doing this and doing that. Won't answer the, the spirits that surrounding your negative thinkers and he had nothing to do with you. Okay? I love y'all. First call, spirit say you got to forgive this person, man. You got to forgive somebody who's who's in the between the 3D and the 5D. Y'all was dealing with a king of pentacles, very practical ass person, very 3D is the energy of the king of pentacles. I don't give a damn what his sign was, okay? So Spirit said, you got to forgive them. They ain't know. They do hate that they did that. They wanted nothing more than to be with you. Listen to your girl, now. Okay? Self-worth. I just said that didn't feel like that was enough. Yeah, I think I'll be playing. Okay. All right. All right, so who, this is definitely not for everybody. Oh, I have first. Take it where it resonates. Please, you guys, don't make it fit. Don't force it. Don't squeeze your damn foot in no six and a half shoe. And you know you wear a team. Don't do it because it'll, it'll fuck up some shit. It'll have you sitting here mad at this person thinking they snorting powder and they not. All right? Take the story as it resonates. But I promise to the most high God, this is somebody's story. Okay? I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Until next time.